But for me, it was more of a personal decision to transfer to Harvard because... Hey everyone, today I want to talk about why I transferred from NYU Law School to Harvard Law School. NYU is a good school, I get this question asked me a lot, and I want to take a little bit of time to explain the reasons I transferred and also why one would transfer generally. So first of all, you can transfer law schools? Yes, you can. Here in the US, law school is three years. One all year, two all year, and three all year. Those are the names for each of the years in law school. After your first year of law school, your one all year, you are allowed to submit applications to any other law school you want and apply to transfer. When you transfer to that new, that new law school, that's going to be your primary and your permanent law school where you're gonna get your diploma. That's gonna be the law school where when people ask, where did you go to law school? That's gonna be your answer. That is your new school. Just like when you transfer from community college to an undergrad four-year program, the same process applies here to law school. Now let's take a step back. For my story, when I applied originally to law school, it was my third year at Berkeley. I graduated one year early from Berkeley and I went straight through to law school. So when I applied to law school, I was in my third year. I was very, very anxious. <laughs> I was very, very scared. And I didn't know if I would get in anywhere because I had like five semesters of grades. I was like, maybe they're not gonna trust me. I don't really know. I love NYU. NYU seems to be a fantastic school. Let me apply early. And when you apply early to law schools, which I do not recommend, but when you do apply early, if you get in, you are basically bound to go and you have to rescind your applications elsewhere. So I applied early to NYU and that was before I had applied to Harvard, Stanford, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and I was accepted nearly 11 days after I applied. Now, getting into NYU was amazing. It was a dream come true in almost every way, and it's an incredibly good school. It's rank six, typically, oscillates between rank four, five, and six. I go there for my one all year, and I do very, very well. I work tremendously hard, and I end the year, and I think about, well, what if, you know, what if I hadn't sold myself short a little bit and I hadn't been so anxious and I would have applied to Harvard and Stanford and Yale and these other schools, maybe I would have gotten in, who knows? You know what, I have one last shot. Let's just apply and see what happens. So I applied to Harvard and Stanford that summer. I didn't apply to Yale because Yale at the time required a paper application. And look, I'm not that old. It was like 2016. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do a paper application for you, Yale. No, thank you. So I applied to Harvard and Stanford. A Couple months go by and I got into both. When I got into Harvard, I got on the office floor where I was interning that summer and I started crying because it was something that I had chased and worked so hard for, I felt my whole life, that I was overwhelmed with emotion and I was incredibly grateful and prideful and very honored. So I accepted Harvard and I went the end of my 1L summer, I began my career at Harvard Law School as a tool. Now let me be very, very clear. The opportunities that I had at Harvard versus what I had at NYU with the grades that I had at NYU, virtually identical, right? I do not think for a second that I had better job opportunities or more prestigious connections, et cetera, et cetera, because I went to Harvard versus NYU because the schools are very, very close in rank. And at that level with the grades that I had, it was very likely that I could get whatever job that I wanted. So for me, it was more of a personal decision to transfer to Harvard because I really, really wanted the brand name. I really loved just the pride that came with finally getting into the school of my dreams since I was a little kid. And I know that that's cliche and in the scheme of things means nothing, but for me, it meant a lot. That's not to say transferring was super fun and super easy. When you transfer schools, especially in law school, you have to make all new friends all over again. And your 1L year is typically when your section mates and you really bond closely. Uh, some call it trauma bonding, but I won't get into that. And you lose those friends when you transfer to law schools. So I went to Harvard and I didn't have friends. I didn't have the sort of pre-established network and everyone else did, right? Aside from the transfer students. And so I had to make a lot of an effort to go out, meet people, get coffee with people, ask people out to lunch, just really put myself out there. And I'm an introvert, so that was not, not super fun for me, but I did it. And eventually I integrated myself into the school and it was fine. When you think about whether you want to transfer law schools or if transferring is the right path for you, I will do more videos on this, but you should keep in mind that rank is very important in the legal profession in getting your first big job out of law school. So if you're at a lower ranked school or if you're an undergrad or if you're applying to law school and you don't get into the best school you possibly wish you could get into, don't despair. I've mentored a lot of people who have gone to schools that are lower rank, do very well their one all year, apply to transfer and are accepted as transfer students into some of the best law schools that the US has to offer. So it's absolutely an avenue and a path for you. You have to do a little bit of research and it's good to keep it in mind but do not despair if you don't end up in the place you wanna be right off the bat, because transferring is always an option. By the same token, do not sell yourself short. 
the mistake that I made when I was an undergrad was telling myself, I don't know if I'm gonna get in, I don't know if I'm gonna get in, and I'm gonna apply early to NYU. And look, it worked out for me. In the end, I transferred, I got the school of my dreams, but I didn't even try originally. And had I tried, there's a high chance, honestly, that I probably would have gotten in off the bat to Harvard Law School or Stanford or wherever. So do not sell yourself short, learn from my mistakes. If you're thinking about law school, if you're in law school, if you're thinking about becoming a lawyer, no matter where you are in this process, if you want some help, join our Discord community, join our YouTube community, join our TikTok community. We will help you as much as we can. Let's get you wherever it is that you want to go. Thank you guys as always. Make sure to subscribe, leave some love if you feel like it. Much love as always. Thank you.